fractions and percentages. The unitary method. The unitary method can be used to solve problems involving finding a whole amount, given a known percentage of that amount. Consider the following example. Find the whole amount if 15% of that amount is $105. The unitary method involves finding what 1% of the amount represents, then multiplying that result by 100 to find the value of the whole amount, which is 100%. Following on from the previous example, find the whole amount if 15% of that amount is $105. The way we work that out, we start off with 105, we divide that by 15, and that gives us the value of 1% of that amount, and then multiply that by 100 to give us the entire amount. And in this case, 105 divided by 15 times 100 is equal to 700. Therefore, the whole amount is $700. Now, how do we know that $700 is correct? If we work out 15% of $700, and we do that by multiplying 700 by 15%, we get $105, which corresponds to the value in the question. So generally speaking, to find an amount given a percentage of the amount using the unitary method, we find the value of 1% by dividing by the known percentage, then multiply that by 100 to find the whole amount. And notice that in the calculations that the percentage symbol was not used. We're just dividing by the number before the percentage symbol. Do not include the percentage symbol in your calculations. Let's have a look at some sample questions. Question one, part A. Find the whole amount if 8.5% of it is $178.50. And question 1B, find the whole amount if 120% of it is 148 minutes. Question 2, last year, Joe paid $34,009.32 in income tax. If this represents 35% of her income, calculate her income. Question 3. Michael sold his car for $45,200, making a loss of 20% on the original price. What was the original price? And question 4. A store increases the price of an item by $3.65 due to inflation. If the rate of inflation is 5%, find the original price of the item. Now at this point, you can pause the video and have a go at these four questions and then resume the video to have a look at the sample solutions. Let's have a look at the sample solution for question one, part A. Find the whole amount if 8.5% of it is $178.50. So starting off with 178.50, divide that by 8.5, multiply that by 100, and we get 2,100. Therefore, the whole amount is $2,100. And as a double check, 8.5% of 2,100, so 2,100 times 8.5% is equal to $178.50. Question one, part B. Find the whole amount if 120% of it is 148 minutes. So starting off with 148, divide that by 120, multiply that by 100, and we get 123.3 recurring. And that's equivalent to 123 and one third. Therefore, the whole amount is 123 and one third minutes, or in minutes and seconds, that's 123 minutes and 20 seconds, since 20 seconds is one third of a minute. For question two, we have last year, Joe paid $34,009.32 in income tax, and this represents 35% of her income. So starting off with 34,009.32, dividing that by 35, multiplying that by 100, we get 97,169.48571. And because we're dealing with a dollar amount, we need to answer correct to the nearest cent or correct to two decimal places. So therefore, Joe's income is 
$169.49, correct to the nearest cent. For question three, Michael sold his car for $45,200 and there's a loss of 20% on the original price. So if 20% has disappeared, we're left with 80% of the value. So 80% of the original value remains after losing 20%. So to find the original price of the car, we start off with 45,200, divide that by 80, then multiply that by 100, and we get 56,500. Therefore, the original price of the car is $56,500. And for question four, a store increases the price of an item by $3.65 due to inflation. If the rate of inflation is 5%, find the original price of the item. So starting off with 3.65, dividing that by five, multiplying that by 100, and we get 73. Therefore, the original price of the item was $73.